On July 20, 1969, the world witnessed a moment unlike any other. At 9.32 a.m. Eastern Time, Apollo 11 had launched from Cape Kennedy four days earlier, carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins on a mission that would define the century. Millions watched as the Saturn V rocket roared into the sky, symbolizing the height of America's space ambitions during the Cold War. The mission was born from President John F. Kennedy's bold 1961 challenge to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the decade was out. It was more than science. It was about proving the strength, innovation, and willpower of the United States in the space race against the Soviet Union. By July 19th, Apollo 11 entered lunar orbit. The following day, Armstrong and Aldrin transferred into the lunar module, named Eagle. Michael Collins remained aboard the command module Columbia, orbiting the moon alone. As Eagle descended, tension filled mission control in Houston. Fuel ran dangerously low. Alarms went off in the cabin. But Armstrong kept his composure, manually steering the craft past boulders and craters to find a safe landing site. At 4.17 p.m. Eastern Time, Armstrong's calm voice came through the radio. Houston, tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Cheers erupted across the world. Humanity had reached the moon. Hours later, at 10.56 p.m. Eastern Time, Neil Armstrong climbed down the ladder of the lunar module and placed his foot onto the dusty surface. His words would become immortal. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Soon after, Buzz Aldrin joined him, describing the lunar surface as magnificent desolation. Together, they planted the American flag, collected rock samples, set up experiments, and left behind a plaque that read, we came in peace for all mankind. Meanwhile, Michael Collins orbited above, ensuring his crewmates could return home. Though he never set foot on the moon, his role was crucial, keeping Columbia ready for their safe return. After spending just over 21 hours on the lunar surface, Armstrong and Aldrin lifted off in the Eagle and rejoined Collins. On July 24, 1969, Apollo 11 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, completing a journey that inspired the world. The moon landing was more than a technological triumph. It was a symbol of human possibility, a reminder that determination and courage could push beyond limits once thought impossible. For America, it was a unifying victory, proof that vision and innovation could carry humanity into the stars.